Hi guys, welcome to another video with Cass on Temes my channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little intro we put together where you could watch Judy solving a 9x9 uh, lights out puzzle. And now I want to quickly talk about the game and hopefully make you guys understand what is so special about this version of the game. Before anything, let me quickly introduce you to the game, just in case you, you have never uh, seen it before. So Lights Out is uh, traditionally a 5x5 five five grid of cells, but you can actually make it uh, as big as you want or as, as small as you want. And if you toggle on one of the cells, uh, they will turn on as well as the four neighbors around it. And of course you can turn it off again. And uh, the last thing you need to know is, uh, well, almost the last thing is, uh, if you toggle uh, any cell any cell next to it, uh, if I toggle this one, for example, it will turn on all these three lamps plus this one, but it will invert uh, this because there is an intersection. So it, would, it turns it off and then turns the other ones on. So lights out starts uh, with a bunch of random lights uh, turned on and your job is to turn all of them uh, off. And if you do so, you beat the game. It's not the first time someone builds a lights out uh, puzzle in Minecraft. So I guess it's time for me to introduce you to what's really special about this version of the game. So I included this very conveniently placed button here that allows you to actually generate a new game here. Uh, the, the map generation is a little bit slow and that's what makes it different from any other version that you have ever seen. Uh, this is a very careful algorithm that I put together here that makes sure that all the puzzles that the game generates are actually solvable. Uh, what I've seen so far are games that uh, when, you, when you generate something, it will turn on uh, lamps here randomly. It will turn on random cells. And that doesn't work because the game has rules and it leads to puzzles that are actually not hard to beat, but actually mathematically impossible to solve. And uh, not with this one. This one is uh, actually a valid thing. That if you try to solve this puzzle, it will end up in something. You can even copy this and test it for yourself. Actually, you can download uh, the map and test it for yourself. You can press the reset button as many times as you want. It will not break the game. Uh, just to, to prove it again to you, I will go ahead and try to solve this puzzle quickly. And there you go, guys. The game is solved uh, once again. All right, guys, just a few final notes that I want to add about the game. So with most games that I've seen uh, on YouTube, at least, the kind of interface people do uses uh, redstone dust here. So basically, they power one of those lamps using uh, redstone torches and then power the rest of them using uh, rest on dust. So this design doesn't do that. So I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, the speed is really good. It's designed for survival. So uh, for instance, if I start running here and I'm actually running and not walking, I can run back and nothing will break around here. So yeah, the system will still be consistent. Uh, actually, if I stand uh, on a pressure plate and I don't move, the system will toggle, toggle anyways. Uh, and I can stand back on it, no problem. I can actually uh, keep jumping on top of a pressure plate uh, without any problems and the system will not break. The only way you can actually break the system is uh, if someone stands on a pressure plate at the same time as you. Uh, and like you were here and someone stands on one of those neighboring things because this is going to be activating this cell and then the signal will not going to propagate from that cell to this one. So it will not toggle and it will generate a invalid state. And then you will have to just come down here and activate the blue line so that you can reset. I'm not sure that if you played this uh, under a beacon effect, giving you speed, swiftness, whatever, this will work. But uh, under normal circumstances, it will. Uh, I'm also working uh, on a new design. It's 20% uh, more compact, uh, but of course it's not ready yet. So this is why I'm not releasing it. 
but this system is fully functional so this is why i'm releasing this and because it's amazing you can actually see one of the single cells here so yeah step on it and then yeah it toggles and if you place another cell next to it it will uh, work as well and actually i have here a, a structure block that will do just that so i can place i think it's it goes in here and then you can see the outline here just make sure that everything is aligned and you press load and it will load another cell so if you don't load this map uh, you can do that let's place another one just for fun um, yeah, you can. You need to, to place this one block above because of the the pressure plate here. It's included, so let's load. And they, of course, already interact with each other. They are all synchronized, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the green circuit does the random things. So th there are just a few units here, and of course, this is random, so <laughs> it's not guaranteed that those cells will fire. Okay, so this time it fired. Uh, and I also included this other structure here. Uh, the name of the first structure is uh, lights out cell. So if I if I click here, you can see it's lights out cell. And this big structure here can also be placed. If you don't have the the structure blocks for some reason uh, on this map, of course, you can type say set block and create a structure block like this now click this button until you get a load button here then write lights out five by five and then click load then you will be able to see the outline of this big thing here so click load again and it's a big structure and it takes around 20 seconds to load uh, the entire thing here so i'll just wait a little bit and come on come on Come on, let me let me show the guys this. Let me finish this video. Okay, so the structure is here, and when it's generated, a bunch of units will fire. So this is almost for sure a invalid state. So make sure to press the the blue button here. And as soon as it clears the floor, it's completely done. It's ready to be uh, used here. So you can see I'm generating a new map here. Uh, if, you make, if you make a big map like the, the 9x9 that I showed you guys, some things have to be changed here. But I don't want to get into much details. Uh, I can say that the, the probabilities here have to change a little bit for the big maps. Uh, but I will get into more detail once I finish my second version of the system uh, and I do it, a tutorial for you guys. But until then, until then you can uh, play using this thing here. Uh, this this map download here uh, and also the structure yeah you can basically copy and paste this structure to any map you want as long as you know what you what you're doing okay guys other than that if i have any updates here you can see that all my videos or check the video description for any extra information that i forgot to include here during the video uh, this took me a while to build like the the base idea is very easy to build but the the resetting and making a proper map generation took me actually three days to get working and fixed so this was really a lot of work and i would really appreciate maybe a like or maybe if you could share the video so you can help my channel i can keep growing i can keep bringing you uh, good quality content here so other than that guys i just want to thank you very much for watching and hopefully i will see you next time bye <laughs>